Hello everyone and welcome back to Old School RuneScape where today we're checking out today's update because they did an update today that does interest me a lot. Specifically they reworked the Hosidius area and it looks a lot more RuneScapey now doesn't it? Like yeah like if you compare this to how it used to look I don't have a picture of it to show you but it definitely feels a lot more natural just from the map alone. They also made this a little bigger and more impressive because they got rid of some of the houses that were there and moved them over here and stuff. Made the tithe farm smaller because it was ridiculously huge for no reason. All sorts of stuff. So we're going to check that out today and also get prepared to work on the Lovakinj favor stuff because there is something we have to do first. But yeah, so here we are. We're on the edge of Hasidius. This is where they've put all of the saltpeter now and they've got a deposit box around here somewhere. Don't entirely know where. And there's a clerk apparently. Oh, that's the deposit box right there, isn't it? I didn't even see it. I was looking right at it. Oh well. Yeah, overall this area just looks a lot nicer. We got the mature juniper trees, which are what we need to chop down in order to get ready to make dynamite. So we can go ahead and chop that. So uh, yeah, next episode we will go ahead and do the grand tree, but I figured we might as well get started on this because it is like a 16 hour wait or something from putting these logs in to actually getting the item back. So it, it's not something I really want to have to do right when I'm ready to release an episode. Also, the music just vanished. I wish that there had been a poll option to get rid of that music, because I hate that music so much. Like, I still won't be spending time around here, no matter how nice it looks. Just because that terrible, hostidious music. It's so grating, so loud. So unending. Compared to all the songs in the mainland, it's just like, ugh. Cannot listen to this forever. I'm not worried about getting like maximum efficiency out of these junipers. I just want to get one semi-full inventory. Looks like we'll have 25 logs, including the two that I already had in my bank and brought along. Luckily, these trees chop really fast. That's nice. I mean, I am a decent woodcutting level, so that helps. Decent thing. Oh, no, not the song again. All right, but anyway, we can go ahead and over here. Oh, that's interesting. These are like mountain, cap mountain camp style graphics here where all the monks and stuff are now. Down here somewhere, there should be charcoal burners. I think maybe here. Ah, there's a bank chest down here. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's like 600 GP per one. Do you just use the log on it then? Ah, it all goes in. Can we just light it? I need a tinderbox. Well, I didn't know that I needed a tinderbox. It was not mentioned. There's not a good guide that I saw is just sort of a thing. Burn them. Yep, you'll have to watch it for 600 coins. That's fine with me. I'll be back in a couple episodes to retrieve these, and we will go ahead and make a little bit of dynamite. Seems like a very slow process getting up to uh, the 15% that you need to do anything else in Lovakinj. I mean, if we look here, I was looking at this a second ago. Uh, which one's Lovakinj? You are. Yeah, you can access the dynamite shop at 15, so that that's not even helpful. You can't even use the dynamite until 100%. So what, you have to go away the 30% with dynamite then? There is a quest though, isn't there? I don't know what percentage is required for that, but... Anyway, we'll let that burn, and we'll go ahead and explore this fair town here. Ossidious Town. Definitely feels a lot more like a town rather than before. The Zia really just felt like it was a giant city centered around a castle, but now it does feel more like a separate thing over here. Still not perfect, and part of that's because I think the other ones need at least a slight rework. This is a big mine. Of course, I don't know like this area that well in the first place, so some of the stuff might just be slightly relocated, and I wouldn't even realize that it wasn't new. Yeah, this is what the tithe farm looks like now. It's much more reasonable. Having that giant thing in the middle of the thing was kind of crap. Having it off to the side and much smaller looks a lot better visually. A lot less ridiculous. And we got all these things. There was just a lot of repetition and stuff in this area before. Now it's all really cool looking. Here we got all our grapevine stuff. I don't know how much of this is new graphical stuff. It looks really shiny over here now, like like new graphic shiny. 
but I don't know, maybe it was always all these graphics looking exactly like this. I got no clue. Maybe I'm just appreciating them more now. It's a pretty big house. Look around, we got some sparkly magic trees, we got a bologna plant, or a bologano plant, you know, whatever. Got my phone making noise, I'm gonna throw that away. <laughs> Sometimes I forget and leave my phone right next to the microphone. It's kind of dumb. Okay, we got different music in the town center then. What song is this? The Forlorn Homestead. It's just that very calm song. I mean, I don't think this really fits either. Neither song really fits the attitude of the area. But yeah, this is a pretty nice looking town center, isn't it? Like, it feels unique and it's got bologna plants and Gala Nova plants. Is that it? Gola Vanova. Jeez, these are excessively long names. They got a skeleton in the town center? I mean, how many towns can brag about having skeletons in their town center? Not many, probably. Um, what else we got? We got some stuff over here, some trees. Rare trees. Is that just magic trees? Or what? Yeah, that's the magic trees I walked by, isn't it? Alright, um, got a peninsula over here. Some fishing spots on it. Good stuff. Yeah, I really like how this looks. It is really nice. I don't know if they've gotten, like, better map making tools or something, but... Okay, I really like the unicorn beach party over here. This is excellent. I'm kind of sad that the unicorns are leaving the beach party now. A cormorant. Giant rats. We got so many animals, which makes sense. I don't know why they're farming imps, but they are. I think we've seen basically all there is to see, though, really. I mean, we could go over here and check this stuff out. But I don't really think that's very different. And really, the castle is the big thing. I guess we can do a loop around. And that'll be it for this episode. I just wanted to check things out. Since these things keep changing, like, it's kind of important to me to record what they look like. Okay, this is different. So this is, was this always like this? I don't know, I could look at the news article. They have a before and after picture. So I could definitely see if that was there before. The answer is no, it was definitely not there before. Yeah, I thought so. It does kind of make sense that they would have something like this right at the port. I mean, you gotta welcome people with your military force as they arrive on the continent. I guess there's also like a meme about extending this all the way out to here. I had not heard of this meme until like yesterday. <laughs> there is a gravestone. Alright, I want to see the castle though. It's supposed to be a little cooler looking. It's definitely big. What all we got inside here? We got a whole bunch of houses. Got some flowers, exciting stuff. Magic tree, it's nice. It's time for a king. The council is corrupt. Yeah, this definitely is quite a castle now. A lot more impressive than it was before. And then we got this place here. I think they said they're gonna move the dark beasts out of there. I don't know, I think that was in the the poll related to Prif Dennis. I guess there's Dark Beast in there? I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not like I can fight him with my levels. My levels are kind of pathetic. Yeah, the, overall, I would rate this little mini rework a 10 out of 10 so far. We got these guys here, the place where I got most of my cooking levels, because it was really easy. I don't know if they've nerfed it at all, but at least when I did it, it was a great way to train. What else we got over here? I gotta keep checking the map. I do like how well this map works. It's very nice. We got one more house we can look at, and the Forthos Ruin. This is a lot of maple trees this guy's got. I like having the maple trees just thrown in randomly. I never liked how they were just this, like, this one little thing off in nowhere land. And that was about it for them. Yeah, we got this house here. Got a farmer in the backyard. I don't know who lives here. They got a strange casket, though. I guess that's for clue scrolls then. I don't know. I don't do clues very much at all in here because I don't have the levels and stuff. 
Alright, how do we get down to the ruins? I have to go over the bridge, I guess, which I'm going completely the wrong way for. It's absolutely terrible. These ruins look pretty cool, too, with the ivy and the stuff. Makes me wish there was ivy in this game, but I don't think there is, is there? Ivy was a post-2007 update, from what I can remember. All I remember about the ivy is I would chop ivy while playing Minecraft. And when did I start playing Minecraft, I guess would be the question. Probably around 2007, right? I have no idea. It's really hard to remember. I don't even remember when Minecraft came out, honestly, so th that doesn't help. Maybe it was later than 2007. I feel like it was around that time. You know, within a year of that, maybe. Oh well. Look at all these ruins. There's really not much to them, actually. This looks like something you could use in a dilly shortcut. I don't know that it is. Then we have this that just leads right up there. I could have taken that if I had seen it. But I didn't, because I'm a genius. Yeah, these are supposed to be like the ruins of a castle or something that was done for when the kingdom was at war with itself in the past. Which is cool, you know? Little details. I don't know what this all is about. We got... Ramosian. Ramokian. I have no idea. This is not something I even know what it is, but it looks like it's something during favor or something. Whatever they call it, um, yeah, it is favor. I always forget there's too many, like, loyalty to kingdom and etc. systems throughout the runescapes now. I always forget which one uses which word to indicate your thing, you know, is it God Wars Dungeon 2 favor, is it Minifos, is it Cure End? it's just, ah, oh, so much going on. But anyway, I mean... I guess that's it for exploration. We will get down to actual gameplay in the next few episodes where we'll be making quest progress and then cure end progress. We're actually doing pretty well here and obviously I can work on the Shazian whenever I want. I've just not been doing it because I've been busy playing on my Iron Man account for the month as membership mostly. Thanks to that Amazon Prime. It's good stuff, but uh, it does make my other accounts suffer whenever that happens. But, you know, free is free after all. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.